Hi everyone. Welcome to this episode of my Sanctuary Settlement Build. So in the last episode, we rebuilt a house for Sturgis and made him an awesome little garage back here. So this episode here, what I want to do today is I'm fix sorry. up I, this I, I place. Be very okay. Good company right now. Okay, June. I want to fix up this place a little bit for the general. Now you can't scrap this house. You can't scrap the foundation, the walls, or the ceiling. So I'm pretty much stuck with what you've got here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fix up the roof a little bit as much as I can by doing kind of what I did to Sturgis's place over here by adding these little roof pieces. You can kind of see one right here. So that way it'll be a little less wet. And I'm going to build also out back kind of a little shed and a weapon shack maybe if you want to call it for all the general's guns and things he wants to hold on to back here. And then I was also thinking of making him some kind of a platform up here. If he wants to get away from things for a while maybe. So I've kind of cleaned up the yard a little bit. I fixed the fence a little with what was there and just put the yard furniture back in the upright position. And in here I have pretty much all I've done is clean up all of the junk, the, the trash and stuff that was on the ground in here. So what's left is all of the furniture. Now I was thinking what I might do is kind of patch up these walls like I did with Sturgis's place. See if I can possibly glitch in some windows so that, you know, it's at least airtight again. And I was also thinking about, this is totally different from everything else, but I was thinking about making the general's house inside with all of the original furniture in its clean, um, clean form, I guess, non-broken down form. I know that the rest of Sanctuary isn't like that, but I feel like the general, the sole survivor, whatever you want to call him, would kind of want to have his house the way that it was pre-war as much as possible. So I think I'm going to try to do that, to fix what I can, to make everything as pre-war as possible. Of course, I can't really do anything about these floors, but I can replace them. You know, the little rugs, I can replace the bed, things like that. Try to make it a little like it was before the war. So that's what I'm going to work on today. So I'm going to go back in to the warehouse tab. And for this far wall here that I have to build in this new settlement, since it's just outside of the walls here, I want to put this wall right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the roof piece on that I want, since it probably won't let me do that either. That's going to be this guy here. I think that's how I want it because I want it to be able to match up with the other walls over here. Yeah, that should be it. So for these side walls here, I need to do the short ones. And I think I'll go ahead and just put the, whoop, the little short ones with the windows in them. That one there, that one there. Now I need to put the little, these guys up. I always forget what they're called. Top arch. Triangles. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to build the rest of the walls here. And the rest of them, I think, I'm probably just going to do solid because this is his weapon shed and it's going to have a lot of weapons rack, rep, bleh, weapon racks, if I can say it. Come on. Oh my goodness, you can do it. I know you can. And where do I want the door? I think this part here will be the door. 
Okay, I need to get rid of this. Because that was glitching on the inside of my shed here. Probably will get rid of this ugly bush too, maybe? Yeah. That leaves a nice view there, doesn't it? Okay. And you can see the side there. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so now I need to finish this roof section here. Uh, this way. Come on. Oh! I about cancelled out of my workshop there. Whoop, wall section. Whoop, went the wrong way. All right. That looks really nice and I like this right here. This is really cool. I'll probably put his weapons workbench right here. All right, now I need to have some way to get into this place. So I'm gonna go find the one that doesn't have the wood on top. I don't know if I need that big of a porch. Wonder if I could, could I put this in? It doesn't really want to snap, so maybe the smaller one will snap? Something. It snapped somewhere. There! Oh yeah, that's cool. Like a little stoop. Okay, I need stairs, but I think I'm just gonna go with the wood stairs. These ones here. Yeah. And we need the door, so I'll go back to the warehouse tab. And I'll probably put the same kind of door on there that I did for Sturgis's place. I can't remember which way it's gonna open. Let's see. Perfect. That's great. All right. Weapon shed, shack, whatever you want to call it, is done. It looks really good. I like it. Okay, so next I want to go ahead and build his platform shacky thing up there. So I'm going to start out with some stairs here. Maybe about there. And then I need to do another set probably to get me up higher. So let's move everybody this way. I don't want it to glitch into the house. Okay. That looks good. I'll need to build some railings so I don't fall off too. Okay, so now let's get a walkway up here. Not that one. Woohoo, <laughs> not that one. This one is better. Come on. Will you snap, please? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking about building him a little prefab shack area over this way. And then maybe over here we could just do more of this decking. Let's see if I can get this where I need it here. Come on. What is this doing? Here we go. Oh, it went right over that. That's good. Let's see. Can I put another one there? Okay, I hear that Brahmin down there having a fit. Will it let me? Oh, it's, oh yes, it will. Come on. And then maybe one more here for the just the outside area. That's cool the way that worked out. I'll be able to put my fence across here. Okay, so over here. Let's go to USO. Whoop, I went too far. 
structures, wood and metal, wood and prefabs. And let, let it load here real quick. I'm trying to see, I want to put one of these probably, maybe that one. That would be cool. But where do I want it? Maybe out further. So let me start with something else here, possibly. Let's see. Um, what do I want to put here first? Maybe one of these pieces? Then maybe that. I want it to be a spot where he can kind of come in and just chill out. Get away from everything for a while. No, I don't want to be in this one. I want the walls. These walls. I'll probably do something that has a sheet on it. What color sheet though? Let's see what this looks like here. That's the burlap one, huh? Let's do something else. I don't really like the burlap one too much. It's hard to tell what these are, some. That red's nice. There. That works. So I need to put the little wall piece on right here. That's good. Then I want to put... Is it here? No, where are the doorways? Yep. He needs a doorway to get in. What one do I like? Blue, green... What was that first one? Just unpainted maybe? Then that, or that one. Let's go with that one. Okay. Then I need to do something here. What's this? Could do some more of these. Or I could do a bigger piece, maybe. Right here. Or turn it this way. Yeah, like that. I still have ways I could go that way too. I don't want it to be gigantic. It's not meant to be a huge house, so I might just stick... Let's see. Maybe a, f a flat wall here? Is that right? Okay. And then here, maybe one of these again with another sheet on it or something. Oh, I could see that was the burlap one there, huh? Let's just do this guy, I guess. No, where are you going? Come here. Oh, it tried. There we go. That works. And then I think I'll just finish it off with another flat wall. Uh, where was they? There they are. <laughs> I said where was they? That's just great grammar, huh? Come on. Okay. And another half wall thingy. Let's do this one, I guess. No, let's do this one. Of course, it doesn't want to snap in there, and it's probably because of this wall here. Let's try. Nope. That wasn't it. It just doesn't want to snap, so I'm just going to place it. And straighten it out myself, maybe. That'll do. Snap this back in. Okay. And I need to have a little piece here too. Will you fit here? Where'd you go? What the? 
Okay. Uh, try again. That was weird. Whoops! Oh goodness, I think I just set another one again. Yeah, look at that. This is like... <laughs> acting so weird. Whoop. Grab this one I accidentally made and didn't mean to. Okay. Looks good. Now I just want to put a door on this thing here. And where are those at? Um, I guess we could just do doors from this one. What kind of door? All right, got a door on there. Now, this is the outside sitting area, so I need to put my railings on. Let's see what kind. I don't want to do from that, so I'll go back. Whoop! Okay, let's just get out of the USO. I'll go back this way. Wood. And I'll pick my railings from here. I like these. I like these too. I used it in the barn build, but they snap in weird places. And I don't know, I kind of like, you know, the scrappy look. So I'll probably just go with these. Just change them up a little bit here and there. So it's different. Let's see. I want to use that one. Whoa! Is that the long one? Yeah. So I'll put that one there. Let's just do it there and there too. No. There. Now we won't fall. I've got to add it here too. So I'll just use the same thing. Woo! Oh! Fell off. <laughs> It's a little too big, isn't it? Because of that smaller area. Um, I don't mind. We need to have something there. Rather not fall off of it all the time. So yeah. That's it then. Looks good to me. So he's got a little area here where he can just... We'll say this is his man cave, tree house, house, house. Who knows? <laughs> That'll work. All right. So I've accomplished what I wanted to for this. But what do I want to do about that hole in the wall there? It's blue. So, uh, metal... Post-war blue. Now this house has the whatchamacallit, the black or the little border around it. But if I can kind of sneak this in here behind that little border ugh, I don't know if I can. Let's see. Can I do that? The weather's turned foul again. It doesn't match up. I could probably do that. No. Yes, maybe. That might work. 
Let's see about the inside here. Oh, it's the wrong wall. Okay, I'm going to take that out and try to find the other one. Oh good, weather's clearing up. This one? Yeah. Let me try this one. Ah! No, 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 don't jump up. I don't think I like that very much. Causes a little bit of a shimmer in the roof line there. Is it because it's too high? I don't know. Let me see in here. Well, it covers the hole. It's not perfectly flush here, but it looks better outside. I think. Like that. So I think I'll leave that that way. Okay, well I'm going to continue working on this. Um, and I'm going to fix the ceiling too. I'll show you briefly what I did. I don't think I need to do the whole thing, but... Oh, that was right where I needed to be. Just got to find the roofs. This piece here. I'm just going to kind of sneak it up in here. And I want to start at a corner. Tripping over the couch here. I want to get it in. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. But I wanted to get it inside. Well, now it's in there. And that's that. But you get it up in there far enough you can't grab it. So I was hoping to get it on the corner first so I could show you what I'm going to do, but I should be able to snap. Now I can snap to it. This is this is the plan, just to kind of fix the ceiling. Let's see, if you snap there, it's going to be out, so I'm not going to do that. And I don't want it snapping outside in the carport area, probably. We'll see. Let's see what it does. It puts it way up in there. So I might just do that. And you can see it a little bit here though, huh? Okay, let me take those out. I won't do those ones. But I'm going to do the ones that are inside the roof that you can't see. That way it'll be a little more solid. But that's the plan for this. Of course, this won't be decorated until the very end. And this is going to be the only house that's going to have the clean decorations in it. So that'd be kind of cool to see when that's done. Before I go today, I just wanted to show you one more thing that I did. If you notice up on top of the roof there, I added some supports to the shack and the deck up there so that it'll look like it's supported and not just hanging in midair. I know that might drive some of you nuts and it was actually driving me nuts that I didn't record it. So I came back and decided to do that real quick to end the video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I'll see you all in my next build video. Bye bye.